Hi everyone, it's Justine. My last fashion talk video was a while ago, about fast fashion, if you remember. Well, today's video is also a hot topic, I should say burning topic, because we're close to civil war in the fashion industry. See now, buy now. That's a business model saying what you see at the show should be available for purchase immediately afterwards. Seems to make sense. Yet there are all the brands that are categorically against it. A few brands who are actually trying it and are called betrayers by the others. And a third group that prefers to wait and see from afar if the second group is going to make it. To help you understand how we got to that situation, I'd like to start a bit earlier in the story and I want to tell you about how the industry used to work in the past, how it's working today, and if you guys always wonder how comes Fashion Week is now and then and when the collections come out and whatever, keep watching because that will be answered in that part. Third one, what the See Now By Now model wants to change and what it's about. Fourth, which brands are trying it, are they succeeding or no? And fifth, what happens next? How the industry used to work. Gabrielle Chanel would invite her best customers, all those women, to her atelier in Paris, show them a collection made and so on in that atelier, and then take orders directly from the customers, and each piece of clothing would be made to order. That was a very easy world. How the industry works today. In the last decades, it has become slightly more complex than this. Let's take the example of the collection for Spring-Summer 2017. In September 2016 was Fashion Week. In February 2017, retail starts. Clothes are available everywhere. From February to July 2017, clothes are sold at the regular price. From July to September, the following Summer Fashion Week, it's going to be sales time, everything at a discount. In order to have Fashion Week in September, we need to have had six months earlier all the fabric fairs where fabrics are available to purchase by brands to prepare their collections. It means that six months earlier than this, trend agencies have released fashion and fabric trend reports. I summarize, you have spring-summer clothes going into retail in February, which is the middle of the winter. And when the clothes hit the racks, the fashion industry has already been working on it for over one and a half years. If you think this timeline makes no sense, you are right. But the fashion industry works like this. Everybody's used to having it this way. The time between the show and the retail star is for buyers to decide, order, wait and receive the pieces they have selected for their stores. For the brands, it's ordering and production time. For the editors of Vogue and Elle and everybody who's sitting front row in all those shows, it's time to think, reflect, find the trends and shoot beautiful pictures for their magazines. If you count backwards from retail start, you really do land in September 2015 you realize that in that system, Fashion Week is the central point. Everything happens before or after it in the supply chain based on those dates. So if you're a brand, you're under huge pressure to make the best impression during Fashion Week. So instead of inviting your customers, you're gonna invite the buyers and the press who you need the reviews from. Does it bother anyone that summer clothes are made available in February? which, where I live, is in the middle of the winter. And also, what about having to wait until February for clothes that you know already exist since September? So that's where the See Now, Buy Now model comes in. See Now, Buy Now, and what it changes. Fact, since that thing called the internet started, people are getting used to buying things they see immediately online. They also see what happens at Fashion Week and on the runways immediately afterwards, either on Instagram or even in live streams. Information speed is also accelerating the pace in the industry. People say, look, if you want to integrate the latest trends into your collection, you can't start working on it one and a half years ahead. You're late. By the time your collection comes out, people will want something else. Another point that's very different from the time of Chanel is that now all the clothes are standard. Nothing's tailor-made anymore. So you could very well pre-produce an entire collection. 
So the business model of See Now by Now actually says that brands should start showing collections that can be purchased immediately. You shouldn't wait six months before you can wear the dress you saw in that show. And consumers get to see summer clothes in summer, not in winter. From a consumer perspective, that makes total sense. Who tried it? How is it going? Burberry was the first big runway brand to go for it in September 2016. The brand overall has a very positive attitude towards technology and they are often the first one to test new store concepts or innovate online. They pushed online sales very early in time, etc. Seeing that Burberry was doing it, others raised their hands, like Diane von Fürstenberg, Tom Ford, Ralph Lauren. They said, yep, we're going for that business model as well. Here's what it means though. If you show your clothes for summer only in February and not six months earlier, the selling season starts right afterwards. So it means that you already have pre-produced everything, delivered to all the retailers and to your online shop so that right on the day after Fashion Week, everyone can start selling at full price until the next discount season. After one season of See Now By Now, Tom Ford said, that's it, I'm done. I'm leaving that business model, it's not working for me. I had my clothes ready one month before Fashion Week. Everything was sleeping in storage spaces. I lost a whole month of turnover. Not working for me. I don't think it worked at all. I'm going back to the traditional business model. Whoa! Now let's talk about people who are against See Now by Now. They are mostly brands who've been in business for years, have always shown at Fashion Week, have always sold through a network of retailers, so they need the power of the buyers. They have two main arguments against see now by now the first one is we can't pre-produce the whole collection we don't know yet which pieces the buyers are going to want to sell in their stores and which not to that i say guys you've been in business for years if you don't know that a plastic transparent dress that is not machine washable is not going to sell you don't know your customers you have to know your customers you're supposed to produce clothes that you think people would like to wear and so here comes the second argument of runway brands. If we only show pieces that people will really want to buy, then we can only show commercial pieces and it's the end of creativity. Guys, about one third of a runway collection right now is made of so-called show pieces, things that are here just to impress the editors that designers already know no one would want to buy. Does that make sense? Where is your consumer in all that thinking. What's going to happen next? Right now you have a majority of the people in the industry saying, look, the see now by now thing is just not working. The supply chain and the fashion week calendars will not work this way. Proof, Tom Ford and all the others, they tried, they failed, let's just all forget about it. And then you have a little group of people, including me, who think from a consumer perspective and stick to saying, look, if consumers see the clothes on Instagram or in the blog posts, they don't want to wait six months until they can get their hands on it. In six months, they're going to want something else. Period. So who's right? Here is my opinion on this. So far, the brands that tried only tried half. Tom Ford failed because he had his production ready and still waited for weeks for Fashion Week so he could show his collection and then start selling it. Why? wait for fashion week. Fashion week is just an arbitrary date decided by editors and buyers. For the editors, it gives them time to think, reflect and shoot pretty pictures. That was fine in the time of Gabrielle Chanel and Christian Dior, when Vogue was the filter, the first place where you would see the new clothes. At the beginning of the season, there were four. But now you see the clothes six months before already on Instagram. That's for the editors. And then there is also the issue with the buyers. They want six month time to be able to see all the shows and then afterwards decide what they want to buy, place their order, wait to be delivered and then pay when the clothes arrive. So they don't care how long it takes. They only pay anyways when they get the clothes, when the season starts. All the costs until then are for the designers and the brands to carry. But here's a thought. Do we need those retailers? We need retail, but do we need retailers 
Why be so dependent on a network and a supply chain we have no control over? What about focusing more on online sales, for instance? If you, as a brand, have an online shop, you control the lead times, the assortment, the whole supply chain, the look and feel, everything you're presenting. It's much better for you as a brand. If you, as a brand, want to implement a see now, buy now model, it means you change the timeline. You also must change the whole system and the whole supply chain behind it. Retailers are slow and reactive. They're not proactive. They're not going to change their behaviors. They always work like that. You need to force the change onto them. I strongly believe that the see now, buy now model makes a lot more sense from the consumer perspective. So the fashion industry will have to adapt and change. The question is just how fast they're going to get it. <laughs> Brands can start looking for new distribution channels. They can also simplify and shorten their supply chain by producing locally. If a brand can reach its customers directly, without needing the intermediary of the buyers and the editor they made themselves dependent on, then we're back to how the industry used to work. You have a brand talking directly to its customers. One thing is sure, H&M has shown their first See Now Buy Now collection in February 2017, last month and their supply chain is a lot faster, as we know. So high-end brands will have to adapt now, definitely, fast. <laughs> and I'm curious to see which new business models are gonna emerge in the coming years. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this new fashion talk. Thumbs up if now you understood how Fashion Week works. <laughs> I have linked some other videos on this topic in the description below if you want more. I see you Wednesday and Sunday again. Take care, bye.